So today I'm going to look at how to make a uh, basically an overgrown protractor out of this cardboard, right? And <clears throat> I want to extend the, the degree marks out onto the cardboard from the pro from the small protractor that I have, right? It does. <clears throat> I don't have a big protractor like this to use, and neither do you probably. So um, what I'm doing instead then, first of all, I used, um, in my other video, I used this cardboard to um, mark these arcs on here, right? And then I have the center of the arc, the yeah, center of the arc I want to use, right here. I put the center of the protractor there, and then I am taking this triangle, but you can use any kind of straight edge, and carefully lining it up with the center of the <clears throat> the center mark on the protractor right there and the degree mark on the edge of the protractor and then coming over here and starting to make my my scale right along here okay and I'll continue that up I don't think I need to go any higher than 45 degrees on here somewhere about here then uh, because we know that our uh, <coughs> our target <coughs> is excuse me our target is uh, no more than uh, you know 40 it's going to be no more than a 45 degree angle looking up at it because we know that we are farther away than the thing is tall right and then um, <coughs> the next step will be to cut it out so right now I'm going to go ahead and make some more marks and then I'm going to work on cutting the thing out. All right, so I've gone along here with my, um, <clears throat> I used my uh, triangle here, but you could use any, any straight edge. Carefully uh, aligning the one end with the, um, with the center mark on the, on the protractor, lining up with the degree marks, and then uh, ending up. Oh, and of course I, um, I taped my protractor down to the to the cardboard while I was doing it, that made it a lot easier. And then you can see out here, here's my new protractor scale, right? So I'm gonna really carefully now try to um, <clears throat> cut this off here. And if I can do a good job of cutting this part neatly, um, I plan to use it as uh, at, for the, uh, to construct the, the vernier scale, right? So we're gonna go along here Try to be real neat following this, this arc. Um, I, this is a little mistake here. I probably shouldn't have used this part of the cardboard with this with this slot cut in it. I probably should have put it in a different position. But for the time being, I'm, I'm just going to tape this up. It'll probably still work fine. But you know, that's a <clears throat> that's an oversight on my part in my planning.
Okay, so the thing I can do now, <coughs> I think I've, I've been successful in keeping this, this side over here neat. So I can work on constructing my, <coughs> my zero mark here and my vernier scale going up like this um, on this piece of cardboard right here, right? And the <coughs> yet I, I still have to figure out how I'm gonna do my sighting yet. But at the moment, um, this looks pretty good. <coughs> 